guys it's your boy barca boy 103 we have some absolutely huge breaking news coming in and that is memphis Depay to atletico madrid is a done deal for bitch romano came out saying that memphis Depay will join atletico madrid for a fee of around three to four million euros with add-ons the agreement is complete he'll sign a contract with them until june 2025 and he's set to leave for madrid for his medicals immediately now from this morning, when I uploaded my match preview for the Ciota match uh, tomorrow in the Copa del Rey, the Pai did not show up to train this morning. Everyone thought that, oh, he skipped to uh, push the move, blah, blah, blah. But apparently the agreement was so advanced, apparently the Pai already told Barcelona he wants to leave, but Xavi just wasn't informed. That why, that's why he was a bit confused in the press conference this morning. So he was given permission apparently not to go to training today, and now Barcelona Atletico Madrid have reached an agreement. So my thoughts. I'm not too happy with it, just simply on the fact that we're letting go of a quality player to another direct rival. It can be any other team in the world apart from Atletico or Real Madrid or maybe Betis and I wouldn't care. That's my only issue. He's going to be now competing against us and this could backfire. What happens when you go and he comes to the camp now, scores a hat-trick and we lose the league by one point. Then we're going to start playing the blame game. but. The opportunity, I understand. You have a player who's going to leave in the summer for free. You can get a few million euros for him. Like I said at the beginning of January, if any offer comes in for Depay, you know, even like five million or anything, I would take it. So I understand why the club is taking it. And also the player has pushed for the move. But just the teams that I'm annoyed with. Apparently Barcelona are asking for Carrasco on loan, some garbage like that. I don't think that will happen. The story is now that Barcelona will try to look for a replacement. If they don't, they are happy with the five fours that we do have. Rafinha. Uh, Ferran, Ansu, Dembus, and Loa, and then they'll rely on some B players like um, uh, Akumach and all them. But again, I'm just, just this fact, that, fact that he gone to Atletico Madrid. I just see Villa, Suarez, and Griezmann just stuck in my head. You know what I mean? That's my issue with this, really. But I want to firstly thank Depay. Wish him all the best. Of course, you know I was a bit advocate of, of signing Depay when I started my YouTube channel when the rumors were kicking in we signed him a year later he came he made a sacrifice he was of course one of our star players last season one of the worst uh, moments and years in this club's history and he was there to help us so gotta give credit where it's due of course his salary was always adaptable based on the club's needs apparently also now he didn't force um he didn't like you know leave training on purpose of course he forced a move which you know any player would do but he always did it in a professional matter you know Chavi always thought, said he was a professional in many press conferences so you have to respect that but this is the will of the player and that's the will is to leave it's gonna be very very interesting to see what barcelona to do again there's still the rumors about into milan maybe something with brozovic apparently now barcelona either want to sign brozovic or gonzalo guedes to replace memphis which i, I mean a pivot and a left a left mid like all right i would have just swapped memphis and thomas lamar if you wanted to go for guedes and brozovic although brozovic you know makes sense he's a great pivot but we're gonna swap uh a striker for another midfielder you should have more midfielders and less attackers we you get put pedri left wing on a permanent basis i don't know it's a bit weird but the opportunity came like with joan laporta and you know chavi and mateo elema and jody croy what they all said during the month of january we're not gonna do anything but if an opportunity comes up you just never know and that opportunity has come with members of pie and he will be leaving the club immediately and of course that will help with ffp as well with the financial margin maybe the club instead of signing someone they can just register new renewals like gabby araujo alejandro balde you know all those renewals that are still not registered they can get first team numbers for gabby and um alejandro balde prospectively maybe we'll see pablo Torre get promoted to the first team officially now with this um uh, you know ffp salary margin cap being available but again overall on the move I'm not really too happy with it, just with, on the fact that we're selling it to a direct rival. I would have loved it if he went anywhere else. You know, if you even offered me Atletico or United, I would have said United, even though we're playing them in the Europa League in a month, but that's only just two games. We never know when we're going to see them again. Atletico Madrid, you face them twice every year. That's until 2025, so we'll see him this year at the Camp Nou, then we'll see him next year at the Camp Nou, and the Wanda, and it's just... <sighs> it's, uh, if this backfires on us... The board take the blame because they know the risk that they're doing with this first of all they give atletico madrid a great player for a very low fee i was hoping would get double digits with variables maybe like six seven million fixed with a few million in variables we've crumbled a little bit here let's be honest the board didn't stick firm to what they were asking for they asked for a fix of seven million or swap us with carrasco anything else yeah my face and now they're down to four million since the player decided to make that push so the board did crumble here a bit. So this comes back to uh, bite us in the backside, right in the arse. Then I think the board have to take the blame for this. Of course, Chavi said, I want to keep the squad the way it is. You could have forced Memphis to stay. And I think if Memphis did end up staying, he would have been a professional. He would have, you know, stick to his role, come in when he needs to be called upon, all that sort of stuff. Then definitely would have left in June for free. But 
with that, that not happening, this comes down for me the board. If he comes if he comes to the camp now, scores a hat trick, then we lose the league by one point. I'm blaming the board because they know the risk of running with this, doing business with Atletico Madrid should now be banned permanently, in my opinion. With all this crap that we've gone through with them over the past few years, you know, the Coque, Saga, Saul, Jimenez, Griezmann, Suarez, this Hermoso, Renan Lodi, I'm do business with them unless only for like really, really desperate. Back in those times, we were desperate, but it's you know, I thought Madrid let go of Jean Felix and Mateus Cunha. Um, for a combined total of 60 million euros. You're telling me they could not pay at least 10 as a package for Memphis. Come on now. So, we'll wait and see how this goes. Uh, hopefully he does not come back to backfire us in the yards, but I wish Memphis all the best, you know. He, 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 he came here, did his thing, and he's gone now. So I have no bad blood against him. I will be deleting all his music off my uh, Spotify playlist though, best believe that. But yeah, I think he came and did well. He scored, what, I think um, 15 goals in all competition, played like 40 games, won a Super Cup. So he did his role. He was our star. He was the face of Barcelona last year. Can't, don't don't forget that, number nine. Then, of course, got them boarded when we got some money, but don't hit the player, hit the game. So wish Memphis all the best. Uh, just so I guess Barcelona. And hopefully he'll help us in the league. Maybe beat, you know, beat Real Madrid. Love to see that. But Barcelona have made a sale this January transfer window that no one saw coming. Depay has exited to our direct rivals, Atletico Madrid, for a fee of around 3 to 4 million euros. And now the big question is, will Barcelona replace him or not? Hopefully, if we do replace him, I would love like a Luke de Jong, uh, Veghorst style striker, you know, that tall target man, like a Giroud, something like that. Maybe get someone like that on loan for six months, or maybe on a free transfer for six months contract. That would be great. But wait and see what the board decide. But of course, Chavez always said, if someone leaves, I want uh replacement leave me all your thoughts down in the comments below drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time on the channel take care and force the barca